I think heartened is really the right feeling um, that, that I feel. Looking back, it's really very heartening to, to see the level of support and, and care that the residents have shown to us. It was the first time for me. It's uh, highly tense and highly intense. You know, you've got to do a lot of things, but you've got a lot of people helping in it. You feel the passion wanting to get us to do well. It was really a very uh, fast-paced exercise and you know, your heart was beating very fast a lot. We were very humbled and grateful for the support that was given at Jurong GRC. We were disappointed, uh, but we were not disheartened and uh, we were not unhappy. But in fact, the results uh, encourage us. There is a lot of hope and opportunity. I think things um, happened very quickly. So yeah. on the night of the results itself, obviously we were very elated. I mean, it was a very difficult and hard battle. It was also a night where uh, some of my comrades um, did not make it and um, it was also a very sad night for me. Yeah, it was a mix of emotion for me that night, that morning, um, uh, but it was definitely a meaningful experience. But at the same time, the work really starts from day one. So while we had a moment of celebration, it's a bit like this confetti whereby, you know, once it goes up, you celebrate the next moment, um, you know, you got to sweep the confetti and make sure that <laughs> the hard work gets done. We actually go around meeting with the uh, resident after that, the encouragement, the outpour of uh, support in Chinese, Jiao, you know, don't give up and uh, disappointed as we may be, but I think we are happily gratified with the outcome being just, you know, a one year old party and a lot has been achieved. You know, I'm okay where to the coffee shop to buy stuff and then the owner of the, the is a young guy and so he could uh, recognize and they call me Francis and basically and say a lot of encouraging things essentially. I don't think I'm as popular as Francis. <laughs> <laughs> so I spent much of the post-election with my residents and so I did a lot of house visits and um, it was very funny, I'll be wearing a mask. Um, you know, just say hello, have a conversation sometimes. Um, but then an auntie or an uncle will go, ah, so how you channel Then I'm like, so what? I have to fold up my mask and say, this is me. You know, immediately after the election results, we went down to Riverview Plaza. The residents were very excited. Um, some people said, hey, can, can you give me five minutes? I'll go up and, and get some of the, uh, the umbrellas that I bought for you to sign. Some of the more elderly um, residents uh, will say, hey, uh, ni, ni si which one are you? They said, oh, uh, I, I, I'm this one, I'm this one. So some people will call me Jameis and some people will, will call me Lewis, but not knowing whether I'm really Lewis. <laughs> I agree. I believe so. Uh, absolutely agree. I absolutely agree with uh, both of them. You know, something that's very heartening during the campaign period and the post-campaign period right now, I, I get the sense that Singaporeans take a more active, participative uh, role in the matters that concern Singapore. I'm very heartened by all the different conversations. Um, but like I always repeat, I think we really need to find a Singapore way of doing it. Constructive debate, constructive discussions. Um, and I think the future is right for us. If you look in Parliament as well, I think for the very first time we have the Office of the Leader of the Opposition. This to me is one step further in terms of um, cementing uh, the future of democracy in Singapore. The democracy breeds this so-called atmosphere of pre-contestation ideas which at the end of the day is, is very important. Uh, this is saying no idea is a bad idea. So if you could look at it positively and allow uh, so-called level playing field for people to come for is only good for Singapore.